Well, let's let's uh, talk about this 20 percent. <laughs> you have refused, and again, to offer specifics on how you pay for that 20 percent across the board tax cut. Do you actually have the specifics, or are you still working on it, and that's why you won't tell voters? Different than this administration, we actually want to have big bipartisan agreements. You see, I understand that. Do you have the specifics? Do you have the maps? Do you know exactly what you're doing? The Republican look, Congress. <laughs> look, at what Mitt Ro look at what Ronald Reagan and Tip O'Neill did. They worked together out of a framework to lower tax rates and broaden the base, and they worked together to fix that. What we're saying is, here's our framework. Lower tax rates 20%. We raise about $1.2 trillion through income taxes. We forego about $1.1 trillion in loopholes and deductions. And so what we're saying is deny those loopholes and deductions to higher income taxpayers so that more of their income is taxed, which has a broader base of taxation, so we can lower tax rates across the board. Now, here's why I'm saying this. What we're saying is here's the framework. I hope I'm going to get time to respond we to this. Want to I, I, you'll Congress. get time. We want to work with the Congress on how best to achieve this. That means successful. Look, no specific. Mitt, yeah. What we're saying is lower tax rates 20 percent, start with the wealthy, work with Congress and to do it. you guarantee this math will add up? Absolutely. Six studies have guaranteed. Six studies have verified that this math adds up. But Vice President the Biden. Look, Vice President, President Biden. Let me Twitter. translate. Let, let me have a chance to translate. I'll come back in a second then, right? First of all, I was there when Ronald Reagan tax rates. Were in the, he gave specifics to what he was going to cut. No, number one, in terms of tax expenditures. Number two, 97% of the small businesses in America pay less, make less than $250,000. Let me tell you who some of those other small businesses are. Hedge funds that make six, eight hundred million dollars a year. That, that's what they count as small businesses because they're passed through. Let's look at how sincere they are. Ronald, I mean, excuse me, uh, Governor Romney on 60 min Minutes, I guess it was about 10 days ago, was asked, Governor, you pay 14 percent on 20 million dollars. Someone making fifty thousand dollars paid more than that. Do you think that's fair? He said, oh yes, that's fair. That's fair. This is, and they're going to talk about, you think these guys are going to go out there and cut those loopholes? The loophole, the biggest loophole they take advantage of is the carried interest loophole and, and capital gains loophole. They exempt that. Now, there's not enough. The reason why the AEI study, the American Enterprise Institute study, the Tax Policy Center study, the reason they all say it's going to, taxes are going to go up in the middle class, the only way you can find $5 trillion in loopholes is cut the mortgage deduction for middle class people, cut the health care deduction for middle class people, take away their ability to get a tax break to send their kids to college. That's why they arrive. Is arriving. he wrong about that? He is wrong about that. There, you, can, that? you can cut tax rates by 20%. And still preserve these important preferences for middle class taxpayers. Not mathematically it, possible. It, it is mathematically possible. It's been done before. It's precisely <laughs> what we're proposing. It has never been done before. It's been done a couple of times. Actually. It has never Jack been Jack Kennedy done lowered tax rates, increased growth. Ronald oh, Reagan. Now you're Jack Kennedy. Ronald Reagan. <laughs>